Beneath the bustling city of Naples, Italy, lies a geological giant that's stirring from its slumber. Campi Flegre, or the Burning Fields, isn't your typical cone-shaped volcano. It's a vast, sprawling supervolcano, and recent events have put scientists and locals on high alert. For years, the ground here has been rising, a phenomenon known as Bradyseaism, pushing the port city of Pozzuoli upwards by more than four meters since the 1950s. This uplift is accompanied by swarms of earthquakes, sometimes hundreds in a single day shaking the foundations, and the nerves of the three million people living within or near its massive caldera. But now a new and worrying term has entered the conversation, crustal breakdown. What does this mean, and what are the implications for Naples and the surrounding region? Today we're diving deep into the science behind Campi Flegre's restlessness, exploring why this supervolcano is so unique and dangerous and unpacking the latest research that suggests the very ground beneath it is weakening, potentially paving the way for a future eruption. This isn't just about geology. It's about a metropolitan area living on the edge of a slumbering giant. To understand crustal breakdown, we first need to understand what's happening deep beneath the surface. Imagine a massive chamber of magma, a mixture of molten rock and volatile gases, pushing upwards from the Earth's mantle. This pressure acts like an inflating balloon, causing the ground above to swell and stretch. For decades, the primary model for Campi Flegre's unrest was this very process, a magmatic intrusion pushing up the crust. The ground rises when magma accumulates and it falls when the pressure subsides. This cyclical movement has defined the region for centuries. However, the recent relentless uplift and the constant seismic activity tell a more complex story. The earthquakes we're seeing aren't just random tremors. They're the sound of the Earth's crust cracking. Think of it like bending a plastic ruler back and forth. At first it's flexible, but with enough stress, tiny fractures appear, and eventually, it snaps. The ground at Campi Flegre is being subjected to immense continuous stress from below. This stress has been building for over 70 years, causing the rock to deform, fracture, and lose its strength. This is the essence of crustal breakdown. The rock is no longer just bending elastically. It's failing. A recent study published in Nature's Communications Earth and Environment Journal provided compelling evidence for this. By analyzing earthquake patterns and ground deformation, scientists concluded that parts of the volcano's crust are approaching their breaking point. They found that the crust is now responding to even smaller stresses indicating it has been significantly weakened by the repeated cycles of uplift and subsidence. It's like a piece of metal that's been bent too many times. It loses its integrity and is much easier to break. So, what does this mean for the possibility of an eruption? A weakened crust makes it easier for magma to find a pathway to the surface. Before, the solid rock acted as a strong cap, containing the pressure from below. Now, with the crust fractured and weakened, it's like having a faulty lid on a pressure cooker. The pathways for an eruption are potentially becoming more accessible. This doesn't mean an eruption is imminent, and it's crucial to state that. Scientists are very clear that they cannot predict the exact timing. However, it does mean the volcano has moved into a more dangerous state. The conditions for an eruption are becoming more favorable. The current situation is unprecedented in modern monitoring history. While Campi Flegre has had periods of major unrest before, notably in the early 1980s, the current phase is characterized by this progressive weakening. During the 80s crisis, thousands were evacuated from Pozzuoli as the ground rose dramatically, but the crust then was stronger. Now the same amount of pressure from below could have a much greater impact because the rock itself is compromised. The fear isn't just a small eruption. Campi Flegre's history is marked by cataclysmic events. Its most famous eruption, the Campanian Ignimbrite eruption around 39,000 years ago, was one of the largest in European history, plunging the continent into a volcanic winter and potentially contributing to the extinction of the Neanderthals. A more recent, though much smaller eruption in 1538, created a whole new mountain, Monte Nuovo, in just a week. While an event on the scale of the Campanian Ignimbrite is extremely unlikely, even a Monte Nuovo-sized eruption today would be catastrophic given the urban density. Imagine a scenario where magma breaks through the weakened crust. The eruption would likely be what's called phreatic at first. 
This is where superheated groundwater flashes into steam, causing a violent explosion of rock, ash, and gas without any new magma reaching the surface. These are notoriously difficult to predict. If the magma does reach the surface, the interaction with the region's abundant groundwater could trigger highly explosive, phreato-magmatic eruptions. We would see towering ash clouds that could shut down air travel across Europe, pyroclastic flows, superheated avalanches of gas and volcanic debris, incinerating everything in their path, and heavy ashfall blanketing Naples. The Italian authorities are not taking this lightly. The National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, the INGV, monitors Campi Flegre 24-7 with a dense network of sensors. They track ground deformation with GPS and satellites, listen for seismic whispers with seismometers, and sample gases from fumaroles to check for changes in their chemical composition, which could signal rising magma. The civil protection plan for the region is constantly being updated. There's a color-coded alert system, green, yellow, orange, and red, and the area is currently at the yellow attention level. Evacuation plans are in place, dividing the area into a red zone, the most dangerous area at immediate risk from pyroclastic flows, and a yellow zone, at risk from significant ashfall. The red zone is home to about 500,000 people. The yellow zone contains over 800,000 more. Evacuating such a massive, densely populated area would be a logistical nightmare of epic proportions, requiring coordination between multiple municipalities, transport authorities, and emergency services. This is the stark reality that the concept of crustal breakdown presents. It shortens the potential timeline from the first definitive signs of eruption to the event itself, leaving less time for a safe and orderly evacuation. It's a delicate balance for officials. They need to prepare the public without causing mass panic. Drills are conducted, and information campaigns are run to ensure residents know the evacuation routes and procedures. But living with this constant, low-level hum of anxiety takes a toll. Every tremor is a reminder of the power simmering below. The rising ground damages buildings and infrastructure, a constant costly battle against the forces of nature. So what happens now? We watch and we wait. Science is our best tool. The continued monitoring by the INGV is our frontline defense. Researchers are racing to refine their models, trying to understand just how close to its breaking point the crust really is. They're searching for any subtle sign that magma is on the move, any change in gas chemistry or seismic signal that could be the smoking gun precursor to an eruption. For the people of Naples, life goes on. They've lived with volcanoes, Vesuvius on one side, Campi Flegre on the other, for millennia. It's part of their identity, their history, and their culture. But the science is clear. The giant is more restless than it has been in generations and its rocky cage is showing signs of weakening. The term crustal breakdown isn't just scientific jargon. It's a stark warning. It signals a fundamental shift in the state of the volcano, a move into a new and more fragile phase where the path to an eruption becomes physically easier. While prediction remains impossible, understanding this process is key to improving our hazard assessment and giving the people living in the shadow of the burning fields the best possible chance to stay safe. The story of Campi Flegre is a powerful reminder of the dynamic and sometimes violent planet we live on. It's a geological drama unfolding in real time, with millions of lives in the balance. As we continue to follow the story, we'll be sure to bring you the latest updates from the scientific community. Thanks for watching. If you found this deep dive interesting, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Stay curious and stay safe.